All right, so we talked about those colors and that is where you can use some categories. So here I am and let's say that I want to work on something. So I'm back in this this week and you'll notice I've got red and then I have green. So the way I have set this up is my green is middle school, my red is the high school and um, my light blue is district. So let's go ahead and say we start with a new event and let's say that I'm going to um, do a meeting with, well, it's just a work time. So let's say you could put in your work time. It doesn't have to be a meeting for yourself for categories. So let's say that I'm going to work on this Outlook class, work on Outlook. Okay, I would consider that a district thing because it's PD and I'll just call it district. These are categories that I set up. So if I select district, it will show up as light blue. If I want to create a new category, I can do that. And if I want to manage categories, I can see all the different categories I have set up. So this is what I have set up and I haven't used all of them. Some of them I might want to adjust, but that is what I've set up. So work on Outlook, put my time. So let's say that that is going to be tomorrow and first thing in the morning, is when I want to jump right in. So I'll say, okay, 745 until 845. I want to work on this and I would categorize it as district, save it. And now I'm going to see that tomorrow I'm going to come in and start my day with working on Outlook. So that's how you can set up some categories. So perhaps your teaching schedule is a mix of grades or um, you want to identify your prep as a different color and have things pop out. So team meeting can be a different color. That could be really helpful.